Howdy y'all. Hi guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From r &E Music. Your mom and pop guitar shop. Deep in the heart of Texas. That's where it at. Right now. Mm -hmm. That's where it at. <laughs> That's where it at. That's where we're at right now. We are safe and sound. Thank you so much. We're not really getting affected by the hurricane, but our friends and family in Houston are getting hammered. So yes. thoughts prayers. and prayers for those of our friends in the Houston and South Texas area. Yeah. All right. So we're going to answer some questions. Thank you guys so much. The response last week was really great. Mm -hmm. A lot of wonderful comments from you guys and girls. Um, I guess a lot of people were really encouraged by our motivational, positive thinking. Yes, <laughs> Someone says something about, we should have a radio show, Positive Thoughts with Ryan Angel. <laughs> and I said, yeah. well, we've, we've kicked around the idea of a podcast, so. Yeah, we have. We, you know, stay tuned. Maybe something like that will happen. But. Maybe. All right. First question. James Smith. Uh, awesome times awesome equals awesome squared. That's true. So which is the larger number, infinity squared or infinity to the infinity power? It's a lot of infinity right there. It really is. Thanks for the great video, Ryan. What are your thoughts on top wrapping? Personally, I like it. I don't notice any tone change, but having a flatter angle break on the strings is more comfortable to my playing style and palm muting. Thanks again from the left edge of Colorado. There you go. I like Colorado. I think every time someone says that, we're probably gonna say Colorado's great. Yes. We, we really enjoyed our, really, our little really vacation there, it. so. Yeah. Ike's trying to get me to move to Our Denver. youngest wants to live there. You know, I don't blame him. Yeah, anytime he sees anything, you know, negative about Texas, he's like, you know, that doesn't happen in Colorado. Because <laughs> you know, no hurricane. That one and... week trip was enough for him. Yeah, to, he's he's, he's sold. still he's sold on. <laughs> yeah, Ike's, Ike's from trying to get me uh, and us to move to Colorado so we could like take over the world from Denver. Yeah. It could happen. It could know. happen. You know, I don't know. Um, as far as top wrapping, you mean like wrapping the. He's talking about wrapping your strings over the top of your bridge if you have a Gibson style bridge. Um, I have never tried that, believe it or not. I have never attempted it. The first time I saw it done was Zach Wild, I believe, uh, did that. Now he maybe he still does, I don't know. But that's the first time I ever saw it done. I was like, what? What's going on with that? But um, I personally have never tried it. You know, wrapping the strings over the top of the tailpiece to go across the bridge. I should, I'm always afraid I'm going to screw up my tailpiece or like, you know, scratch it up or something. That's why I've never tried it. Um, maybe I should try it on one of my guitars that does that. So, I don't know. It's never tried it, so it's hard for me to say. Yeah. Um, although I've never really had much difficulty playing the other way, but right. I should probably try that. Any of you guys who do that, wrap your strings over the top of your tailpiece. I want you guys leave a comment and give us your thoughts on what you think pros and cons are, if differences or not. So, yeah. great question, James. I should maybe try that on a guitar. Hmm. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Corman Shearmeyer. I tried out some NYXL 10 to 56 because of your videos, and I love them. How long did it take you to find the perfect strings, and what do you think the best? string gauge for a Floyd Rose guitar is. Uh, how long did it take me? A long time, I guess, because I've played a lot of strings from when I started playing guitar when I was yeah. 12 or 13. Um, I, I played GHS for a long time, I really liked them. Mm -hmm. I switched to Ernie Ball back in the day because they had the coolest packaging. Bright colors and all the big rock stars played them, so I switched to Ernie Ball because just you know, marketing was working. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I didn't, I played them for a year or two and they, you know, I had more problems with breakage with Ernie Ball than any other string. Yeah. So I switched and I went to, I tried DR for a while because I was a big Dimebag Duro fan. Mm -hmm. And they were great. You know, I'd never had a problem with DRs. And then I think I went back to GHS and then, which I've always been happy with. And then, of course, when we opened the store, I think that's when I started playing D'Addario and actually really playing them a lot. And yeah, I've never had a problem with D'Addario. Uh, I love the NYXLs. Mm -hmm. And so I guess about seven years ago is when I kind of settled on D'Addario as my preferred choice. But you gotta try, you know, there's a lot of strings out there and you gotta try them. I would recommend trying a lot of different ones. Yeah. And you gotta see how they work for you. You know, 
So <laughs> for me, it, it took quite a while. You know, I was never dissatisfied with the DRs or the GHS. It's not right. like they were had any negatives about them, you know. So it took a while, and and for us, it's a little bit of um, you know, it's a little bit of a business thing though too. Um, not an endorsement type thing, but we sell the Dario products, mm -hmm. and um, they've been very good to us as a small mom and pop shop, mm -hmm. and my sales rep from them, John, who's He's now further up in the company now, but they've just been a really great company to work with. So for us mm -hmm. lately, well, the last several years, we've been really thinking a lot about, it's not just the product, but it's the people at the company mm -hmm. makes a difference when you say, yeah. and how they treat us. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I, I love the products, but then it's also, you know, I've never had a problem with them as a company or customer service or any of that kind of stuff or quality control. So, uh, yeah, took a while, but I'm pretty happy with them for now. <laughs> as far as best string gauge for a Floyd Rose, whatever string gauge you want to play on. I mean, cause you can set them up. They're adjustable enough. You can, if you want to use heavies, you can use heavies. If you want to use lights, you can use lights. So whatever your preferred gauge is, I think you're fine with. You do kind of have to, pick a gauge and a tuning though on your Floyd and kind of settle with it because right. switching gauges and switching tunings on your Floyd, you have to reset up the whole thing every time. So whatever you like will work. Just get it set up for that. So there you go. Um, that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So we had a lot of comments from last week. Um, so we really appreciate that. You want to read a few Do of the you. comments? Sure. Well, we can't read any comments because our internet's down. Good old small town. Rural, rural internet it happens very rarely we switched companies and our new company is really good yes it is but it's uh it's first monday weekend yes it is too which is the big it's flea market beautiful day and so weather's awesome yeah so it's always busy <laughs> so when a hundred thousand people come into our town that's when you know the internet gets slow imagine that so yeah so we're just gonna wrap it up <laughs> we'll maybe read those next week or we'll just answer questions next week just to We'll see how it goes. So thank you guys so much for your questions. So if you have a question for next week. <laughs> Leave it below. <laughs> so much editing for me. <laughs> and we'll answer your questions next week. Thank you again so much for the kind words and the, um, the well wishes with all the crazy weather uh, in Texas. And we appreciate that so much. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. And you need the music. Yeah, and we need to keep it alive for this young generation that has nothing to do with Star Trek. Yes. That is coming up for this next generation of guitar players and musicians and singers and that's pianists it. and drummers. Yeah, it's more than just guitar players. It's, it, well, you know, that's why I said. And pianists and drummers and vocalists. And All even, the children who love music. Even bass players. Yes. Even bass players. So we'll <laughs> see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.